and hoping to cut expenditure. We think that is um, a, a very nice dream, but very hard to do uh, and probably won't materialize quite the way the finance minister expects. South Africa's finances are in dire straits and the situation continues to worsen. In this extract from an exclusive client webinar, CRA director John Endress discusses how the country's deep deficit levels could lead to huge political changes in the coming years. If you would like to subscribe to the CRA services, please click on the link in the description below for more information. Enjoy. Our finances, however, are in a bit of a dire situation uh, with a silver lining <laughs> um, onto which we're going to add a, a dark cloud at the end. So looking firstly at our government finances, the way to think about them is that uh, the government collects money, which is the gray line revenue. And this is shown here as a share of GDP. So as a share of GDP, um, that, that's been slowly but steadily increasing over time. And the government now collects, uh, what's that, about 26, 27 percent uh, of all the, the value of the goods and services produced in South Africa in one year, uh, over a quarter of that as revenue. That's quite a high take. That's a lot of money. However, um, it still spends more than that, which is the black line. The black line is expenditure. Um, you can see the gap between expenditure and revenue closing during the first half of the democratic era. And then you see this really interesting little gap here where revenue was actually higher than expenditure. South Africa was running a budget surplus during that time. And that is thanks to good macroeconomic policies and a favorable global environment as well. Um, but that's a very good achievement by the finance minister at the time and by the administration, the ANC administration of the day. However, since 2008, 2009, you can see that uh, expenditure has far outstripped revenue. We've been running deficits every single year since then. Uh, we're continuing to, continuing to do so. You see that really big gap there in 2020. Um, so that was COVID spending, where revenue took a, a bit of a dip and spending uh, was massively increased. Then you see the projections into the next few years where the finance minister um, is hoping to close the gap by keeping um, revenue probably more or less constant. Um, it's hard to increase it in this economy and hoping to cut expenditure. We think that is um, a, a very nice dream, but very hard to do uh, and probably won't materialize quite the way the finance minister expects. If you subtract the one line from the other, you get the red line, which is the, is the deficit or surplus, and that you would read against the right-hand axis, which has its zero point here. You can see whenever you're below zero, you're in deficit territory. And if you're above zero, you're in surplus territory, which was only the case for two years in South Africa's history. But that was a really good achievement. So we're running these deficits. Um, they are very, very deep. And um, we repeat a slide from our briefing last year because it is so um, um, attention grabbing and hard to ignore, which is just the really long term view of South Africa's budget deficits going all the way back to 1913. Why did we go back so far? because we were so taken aback by the current deficits that we wanted to know if similar deficits had ever occurred in South African history before. And so you see a lot of red lines, which is the deficits of all those years, going back to 1913, just after the formation of the Union of South Africa. And you will see that our current deficits, which sort of tipped uh, or, or clipped minus 10% uh, during the COVID year, 2020, and are projected to go up to you know, minus 6% and then declining, have only been equaled on three previous occasions in South Africa's history. And that was during the end of apartheid when the NP government ran out of money and the American banks refused to roll over lo loans further um, and the state really um, fell into a deep hole. Before that, it was the Second World War in the 1940s where deficits were similarly deep. And before that, it was the First World War when deficits were as deep as they have been now during the coronavirus crisis. And notably, each of those very deep deficits was followed a few years later by a change in government. So in 1922, you had the, the Rand Revolt and the miners' strike. In 1924, Jan Smuts lost power. And there was a new sheriff in town, a new government. 
Then by the time 1948 elections rolled around and Jan Smuts was back in power, but then he got voted out again, uh, once again, a few years after those really deep deficits. The NP National Party came to power, introduced apartheid, ran it for a few years, fell into this deep deficit territory, and a few years later, they were gone. The ANC took over. And now once again, we're seeing deep deficit territory, we're seeing the government uh, struggling and in difficulties. And it does make us think that uh, if, if history does not repeat, at least it rhymes, and we may well see another change in administration, in government, in the coming few years. It's, it's one more data point making us believe that. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. And we would also like to know your thoughts. Do you think a huge political shakeup is imminent in South Africa? Please let us know in the comment section below.